Once upon a time, in a small village nestled between rolling hills and lush forests, there lived a wise Zen master renowned for his profound teachings on life and human nature. His presence brought solace to the troubled hearts and clarity to the confused minds of the villagers. One sunny morning, as the birds chirped melodiously and the gentle breeze swayed the trees, a young boy approached the Zen master with a perplexed expression on his face. Master, he said, how can one distinguish between true friends and fake ones? The Zen master, with his serene eyes twinkling, invited the boy to sit beside him under the shade of an ancient oak tree. Listen closely, my child, he began, his voice carrying the weight of years of wisdom. The path to discerning the authenticity of others lies not in their words, but in their actions. He then proceeded to narrate a tale, a tale that would etch itself into the hearts of those who heard it, a tale of friendship, betrayal, and the timeless wisdom of the human spirit. In a bustling marketplace not far from the village, there once lived two friends, Liang and Ming. Liang was a humble carpenter, known for his skillful craftsmanship and gentle demeanor, while Ming was a charismatic merchant whose silver tongue could sell sand in a desert. Despite their starkly different professions, the bond between Liang and Ming was as strong as the sturdy oak tree that sheltered the Zen master and the young boy. They laughed together, cried together, and shared their dreams beneath the starry night sky. One fateful day, a caravan of merchants arrived in the village, bearing exotic goods from distant lands. Ming's eyes sparkled with greed at the sight of the treasures, and his heart whispered tales of wealth and prosperity. Driven by his insatiable desire for riches, Ming devised a cunning plan to deceive his friend and seized the caravan's riches for himself. He feigned illness and entrusted Liang with the task of selling the goods on his behalf, promising to share the profits upon his return. Blinded by his unwavering trust in his friend, Liang eagerly accepted the responsibility and set forth to the marketplace, unaware of the treachery that awaited him. Days turned into weeks, and weeks turned into months. Yet there was no sign of Ming's return. The villagers whispered rumors of betrayal, and doubt gnawed at Liang's heart like a relentless beast. But amidst the turmoil of his shattered dreams, Liang found solace in the teachings of the Zen master, who had become his guiding light in the darkest of times. With each passing day, he cultivated patience, forgiveness, and the unwavering belief in the inherent goodness of the human spirit. And then, one fateful morning, as the sun bathed the village in golden hues, Ming returned, his pockets overflowing with wealth and his heart heavy with guilt. He sought out Liang, his eyes downcast and his voice trembling with remorse. I have betrayed your trust, my friend, Ming confessed, tears streaming down his cheeks. I was consumed by greed and blinded by selfish desires. Can you ever forgive me? Liang, his heart brimming with compassion, embraced his friend with open arms. In the tapestry of life, Ming, we are but threads woven together by fate, he whispered, his voice tinged with wisdom beyond his years. Though you strayed from the path of righteousness, I believe in the power of redemption and the resilience of our friendship. And in that moment, amidst the gentle rustle of the leaves and the melodious chirping of the birds, Liang and Ming forged a bond stronger than steel a bond built on the pillars of trust, forgiveness, and unconditional love. As the Zen master concluded his tale, a profound silence descended upon the duo beneath the oak tree. The young boy listened intently, his heart stirred by the timeless wisdom woven into the fabric of the story. And so, my child, the Zen master said, breaking the silence with a gentle smile. The true measure of a person lies not in the masks they wear or the words they speak, but in the sincerity of their actions and the depths of their character. With newfound clarity illuminating his soul, the young boy bowed reverently to the Zen master and departed from the oak tree, carrying with him the timeless teachings of discernment and compassion. And as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting its warm glow upon the tranquil village, 
The echoes of the Zen master's words lingered in the air, a gentle reminder of the eternal truth that amidst the trials and tribulations of life, the light of wisdom shall always guide the way. This is God of Motive. Thanks for watching and stay focused.